Our next lesson is more about uh, phonics, and uh, we're going to get into syllabication of words. In your book, you see that there are six types of syllables. Most of these, again, you've heard some of them before, so it will be a review, but then there are some new ones that maybe you don't know about, okay? So, first of all, there's a closed syllable. A closed syllable is simply a consonant, a vowel, and a consonant. The consonant is closing in the vowel. When that happens, the vowel usually makes a short sound. Who can tell me, first of all, what the vowel sounds are? The vowel words. A. 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 I. O. N. U. Everybody knows that. Okay. Who can tell me a short A sound? And give me a word that demonstrates a short A sound. Tevin. Sway. Short. If I put this up here, you'll automatically know what that short vowel sound is. Yeah. So what is it? Cat. Cat. Separate out the short A sound. Kate. You change the sound. Oh. Uh, fine, what do you mean? Say, say the word. Cat. Cat. Isolate Cat. the sound. At. At. That's a short okay. A sound. At. Okay, and when I have a consonant and a consonant on each side of a vowel, it will usually give me a short sound, eh. Yes, if it's short E, what's it going to say? B. Eh. Oh. Eh, okay. All right. So I, I see we need a little little work on that. Uh, if it's a short O, who can give me this a word and isolate the sound? Top. Yes. Top. Top. Can you isolate the short O sound? Top. Ah. Take the P off. I just want the O. Ah. Top. top. Can everybody, you know, everybody do that. Let's say the word top. 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 Now isolate the middle sound. Ah. ah. That's your short O sound. Okay, ah. who can give me <laughs> who can give me a word with a short U and then isolate the sound. Mole. Mole. Cup. Cup. Okay. Uh. Uh. Everybody? Cup. Cup. Uh, got it? The short U sound is your uh sound. Um, I don't like to do I because I just sort of bends all over the place. <laughs> and so when we, when we say a short I sound, many people will say it, but the words, as you go into different words, that short it sound sort of bends itself um, and makes many other sounds. But the A, the E, and the U, and the O are fairly consistent. Those are the easy ones. Okay, so that's what a closed syllable is. Anybody have any questions about what a closed syllable is? Okay, everybody knows those vowels. A, E, I, O, U. You surround it. You've got a closed syllable because the vowel is closed up. Okay, <coughs> opposite of closed would be what? Open. 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 What happens to the vowel? It doesn't It usually turns long. It usually turns long. Okay, so you've got a consonant and a vowel. Um, I would like, you know what, I, we, we need to see some examples. Let's go back uh, two pages in your book. Okay. And, um, you yes, two, two more. One more. Oh, one more. Uh-huh. I said go for it. Uh, one more. Right here. Okay, right. Okay, I want you to look down that list and see if you can see any closed syllables. Uh, as um, I want you to go down to the second to the last word. C-O-M-M. -M. Commuter. Commuter. What are the two consonants in the first syllable? Oh. The two consonants. The first consonant is the C, C. right? The vowel is your O, and the M is your second consonant, and it closes it up. And you would draw a line right there, com, C-O-M. That's a closed syllable. 
Okay, let's look at the very first word. Who can tell me what makes up the first open syllable with P. just a consonant and a vowel? P. P is your consonant and? O. I mean, I is your I vowel. I is your vowel. So is that going to be a long I or a short I? A short I. Short. Long. Long. High lit. High lit. Right? Yeah. The, the, the vowel is going to be long. Okay, can anybody see another? Uh, what about depending? D. Okay, D. D E. You break it right there. It's an open syllable. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and the vowel is what? The E. Long. The e. It says E. All right, you have to start looking at your words in pieces, in categories. Okay, how many of you know the vowel cons consonant silent E? Like in a word, make, M-A-K-E, A-K-E. What happens to the A? What do you mean does it say its name or uh, does it, is it, it short? Its it says its name. What turned the sound for the long A on? The, e. the A. The E. The, the E. The silent E. Look in there and see if you can find some silent E's. That. There's not a lot in there, but there's at least one. Reserving? Re, that's an oh, open syllable. Re. Opportunity. Uh, let's see. The poem is like a silent E. Uh-huh. Silent E. Look, look at the Luggage. L word. Luggage. 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 Yes. And Kevin found the last word. Anybody see a vowel, consonant, silent E that turns the I on? See that, Ashley? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what's the I going to say in that situation? Domicile. Okay. So you've got a long vowel, a consonant, and the E is like a key. It turns that vowel from short to long. And that's a pattern that you can use when you're reading. Okay? Then there's a vowel team like E-A. Usually when two vowels walk together, the first one says its name, right? Yes. Okay, we got any of those in here? Nope. None? No. Nope. No, not really. Okay, I, we'll, we'll find some later. And this is the one I like the most. This, this one is the most fun. R control. When you have a vowel, again, the vowels are what? A, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. And sometimes y. <laughs> okay, when you put an R next to a vowel, like A, R, the R takes over the sound and we get the sound of R. So if I put R next to E, what do I get? R. R. If I put an R next to I, what do I get? R. 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 If I put an R next to an O, what do I get? Or, and if I put an R, R next to R, R. Okay. All right, very good. So that's called an R <laughs> control. That's any vowel plus an R. Let's look in the list and see if you can find any. Reserve. <laughs> very good. Any others? Opportunity. A poor. Opportunity, very good. Accordion. Accordion. Opinion. Opinion. Where's the R in opinion? opinion. <laughs> you have to have an R. Okay, uniform, very good. Okay, all right. Commute her, E-R at the end. According. Where? What number? Accord. Okay, that one was said, according. So all of those have what kind of structure? What kind of the vowel type is that? R control. R control. So what have we done so far? We've done closed, closed open, 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 silent E, vowel team, R control. Okay, last one is a consonant and B L. I'm sorry, and L E. And this is again something that will just make your reading fly because this is so consistent. 90% of the time when you see a consonant and L-E, it's going to make this sound. Bull, coal, dull, flow, glow, and so on and so forth. As long as you know what the consonant says or the sound that it makes, 
you can sound that out. Any questions? No. Okay. Would that help you with your spelling? Yes. Whenever you hear that sound, what are you going to put? Continent L E. That's all. Okay. All right. I think we've. Can we do that? Yes. yes. All right. So now, what I would like for you to do is turn your book over so that you have a plain. You know what? That's why I bought the white page, the whiteboards. I want you to spell for me the following based on our six vowel types. I want you to spell silent. Silent. <laughs> Say it to yourself. Listen for the sounds and write down what you hear. Okay, flash them at me. 100%. <laughs> okay, um, you can cross that out, wipe it out. Next word. Slipped. Slipped. Like he slipped on the water on the floor and fell. He slipped and fell. Slipped. <laughs> I'm looking for the sounds. Slipped. Can I see yours? Slipped, slipped, slipped. Okay, you're the poet. Everything's good. This is the right sound. Yes, you're fine. Yeah, that's what I put to. I thought I was wrong. She did that too. I thought I was wrong. That's why I said it's a poetic spelling. It would be just fine because all the sounds are there, and that's what I'm looking for. Next. I would like for you to spell sun word. Sun word. I'm flying toward the sun. I am moving sun word. Perfect. 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 All right. All right, somebody tell me what parts of any of these syllable rules did you use to figure out that spelling? Steven. You used an R control. Definitely used an R control. Yes, ma'am. And? You used in that word, what sign she talked about. <laughs> Uh -huh. Vowel team, for real? Uh, no, there was no vowel team there. Okay. No, yes, it. Kevin. Uh, closed. He, okay, Kevin says he had a closed syllable. What closed syllable did you have? Sun. Sun. How did you spell it? S U N. S consonant. U vowel. C consonant. N. I'm sorry. N consonant. S U N. Right? Yes. yes. Very nice. Okay, let's try one more. <coughs> Okay, everybody's ready. I'd like for you to spell shouting. Shouting. Perfect. 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 Very good. Okay. What what vowel combination do you have on there? Oh, um, vowel team. Got a vowel team. What are your two vowels? What's your vowel team? Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, and it says owl. All right. <coughs> Underneath shouting, I would like for you to write clouds. Clouds. Perfect. Perfect. How did the sounds help you this time? Carthrell, how did the sounds help you this time? Yeah, Ow. Ow. And what was above it? Shouting. So how did the spelling help you? They rhyme. They rhyme. <laughs> okay, very, very good. Okay, that's um, the end of that lesson.